My name is Janice Lundman. I'm an executive producer. I have my own company called Back Alley Film Productions in, with, Montreal. in Montreal with a partner, Adrian Mitchell, who has a branch of the company in Toronto. And we produce one hour dramatic series. The, we did a series entitled Durham County that we shot three seasons in Montreal and had a fantastic time. The crew was amazing. And since I, lo you know, since I lived there, I loved working there. The latest series we did was a dramatic series entitled Bomb Girls that focuses on, you know, takes place in World War II and focuses on the women who worked in a munitions factory building bombs during the war for the European Front. And it's about them and their coming of age and their access to freedom. They could wear pants for the first time, they could smoke, they could drink, they could do all of these things, but there was a cost. Durham County was broadcast on the pay networks in English um, and we had some wonderful actors though. We had Laurence Leboeuf, stars was one of the major with major roles and I believe it was on TV in Quebec and it was financed, it was a Canadian, completely 10 out of 10 Canadian show so it was financed through the Canadian Media Fund, through the SODEC tax credits, through federal tax credits, through distribution through me, my some of my money. Oh, yeah. That's how it came about. Wow. Yes, but it did. It's done very well, and it's sold very well. So that's good. And Bomb Girls, the same thing, is a completely Canadian production, financed again through the Canada Media Fund. We're doing our post production in Quebec, so we have some SODEC tax credits. We have OMDC, which is the tax credits from Ontario and federal, and we have distribution advance. We have a uh, show that we're developing with uh, CTV, which is somewhat of a secret. I can tell you it's a police procedural and it's about undercover cops. And then we have a wonderful tween series called The Dead Kids Detective Agency, which is about a young girl named October who's 15 years old and doesn't fit in anywhere. And she hangs out in the cemetery and ends up making friends with some ghosts who live there. And they solve mysteries. The priority that we have at MIP is to sell Bomb Girls, which is the latest one-hour drama series that we did, and that's going very well. Thank oh, well. God. <laughs> oh, it's going very well. It's the first market, so we're it's 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 always a balancing act. Do you take the DVD deal? Do you sell to the pay networks? Do you go to the broadcaster, the main conventional network? So you know we have all these people circling around and offers, and then we have to go back after MIP and sort it all out, it's a big jigsaw puzzle, and go from there. But there's a lot of interest and a lot of people want it, so it's very good. So you're playing hard to get? Or you're no, no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> not at all. Okay. Um, is this the only title you're pushing here at NIP? It's the only finished title that we're pushing. Now, I'm also trying to you know, check out interest in the other shows, yeah. obviously, in terms of financing. So six months from now, I'll come back. And with the projects, with green lights from broadcasters, hopefully, and then we start making the contracts and doing the financing. Final words about NIP? About year 2012? Well, it's been very good for us. Very busy, lots of really good meetings. I just wish the weather was a bit better. <laughs> That's all. But it's a fantastic, MIP is a fantastic market. Mm -hmm. And even if you, and I think anyone who's involved in television, needs to come to this market to understand what it is to make television in a global world. Wow.